Now at 5.30 tonight, the weather looks promising for tomorrow's launch of NASA's new state-of-the-art spacecraft. The Orion is set for its first test flight, and it carries the nation's hopes for one day putting humans on Mars. Meteorologist Pete Mangione joins us now with the details, new at 5.30. Even though this will be an unmanned flight, a lot will be riding on Orion's liftoff from Cape Canaveral, Florida on Thursday. On the day before its scheduled launch, final preparations are underway on the Orion. This is important. It's a test flight. Uh, the great thing about EFT-1 is it's unmanned, and so we are pushing on the systems to make sure they work as, uh, as we expect. Delta IV rocket will shoot Orion 3,600 miles from Earth. That's the furthest any space capsule designed to hold humans has gone since the Apollo in the 1960s. Orion will make two laps around the Earth before landing in the Pacific Ocean near the Mexico Baja coast. On its re-entry into the atmosphere before landing, its speeds will approach 20,000 miles per hour and temperatures will be a scorching 4,000 degrees. This will stress test the heat shield as well as the NASA team watching from Earth. We have great models on the ground, a lot of, uh, I'd say, some of the best experts in the world on space systems. The electronics and parachutes will be evaluated during the flight, especially during the critical landing phase. After splashdown, Navy ships will be used to retrieve Orion. Ultimately, the goal will be for Orion to take astronauts further into space than ever before. That includes plans to visit asteroids in the 2020s and Mars in the 2030s. And there are some things that I'm sure we're going to learn tomorrow uh, from this from this unmanned flight test that will enable us to fly uh, humans into deep space. And the weather looks like it will cooperate for the launch on Thursday morning. There are no big storms in the Cape Canaveral area, and there's just a slight chance of showers. I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.